Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Friday. It is the 14th of June. It has been a while since I have done that vlog. And I decided to jump on here today to update you guys on what's been going on in the Griffin household, what's been going on in our life. I know I've been walking around, probably making you feel a bit queasy, so I'll stop. And um, it is 10 a.m. We're up, we're at them. Last weekend, I went to Ibiza for three days for a hemp party. It was kind of what I'd set my goals towards kind of health wise that I wanted to be in a good place physically, emotionally and just to feel confident and good about myself going on my trip to Ibiza and I had a blast. I had a really good time. I really enjoyed it. But limited sleep, a lot of pizza, not too much alcohol to be honest because it was so expensive. So a lot of pizza, limited sleep, a lot of dancing, late nights um, resulted in my having what people have been calling the Ibiza flu. I don't know if that's a thing, but I've been just unwell since I've been home, just a bit run down. And today I'm feeling a lot better. Yesterday I was kind of on the mend, so I got back to the gym yesterday for the first time. So today I'm properly feeling um, healthier. I'm probably sounding a little bit croaky still, but feeling a lot better. And um, as you can see, I'm up, I'm dressed at a reasonable time, so that's all a good indication. So I'm just going to take you through my day and what my kind of ritual is every day. I'm getting back to some healthy eating and um, we've got some muscle food arriving and yeah that'll bring about the health. Starting my day I always start with some water and my little selection of vitamins that I've left out here for you to prepare. We have some magnesium, we have some zinc, we have some N-acetyl L-tyrosine, selenium, and we have some sea kelp or iodine. Now all of these, minus the poop bag, contribute towards healthy uh, metabolism, healthy thyroid. Um, if you've an had any problems with your thyroid in the past, and or feel like that your metabolism is quite sluggish all of these will help they also help with sleep and um, cell rejuvenation all the things that we require i also have been taking in this anti-aging collagen now i have been using the edible health this is not sponsored and um, the edible health collagen for a while and i decided to go for the anti-aging one this time which is a little bit more expensive but it includes a lot of little extra things in it just for your health and goodness but doesn't taste as good the, the regular collagen from edible health is just a bovine collagen you just put it in your coffee you can't taste it at all but this one because of all the additional i suppose metals and um extra boost that it has in it it kind of has like a metallic -y taste so this has had the benefit of me changing up my morning routine. Instead of having a coffee first thing, I've started having a protein shake, which is good because for some reason, my appetite has kind of not diminished, but reduced a bit. And I've had, I've been finding it harder to get my protein in every day. So adding in a protein shake first thing in the morning where I add in my collagen and you can't taste it. So I'm getting health and health and yeah. It's like a new kind of like little routine for me and it's good because it kind of fills me up in the morning just to have my little shake and I'll just show you that now. Okay, so this is the start of my shake. We have a handful of ice cubes, 50 grams of frozen blueberries, about 100, 150 ml of water. I like to make it on water and I like to make it thick. So that's why I use very limited water. Then we're gonna add in about 12 grams of the collagen, a scoop of protein powder. I'm using this one right now. It's a peanut butter one from uh, Grenade, which tastes really good with the berries because it kind of tastes like peanut butter jelly. So you see how thick this is. I just really like them quite thick and yummy. <laughs> so. I'm just going to be disgusting with my breakfast shake. Look, it's not even... <laughs> it's so thick. It's yummy. So this is how I start my day. It's good, it's healthy, it's keeping me energised. You can see my skin is quite clear. I 
I'm getting a lot more energy in despite the fact that I am PMTing so hard today. Yes, I've already cried. For no reason. Like, zero reason. Yum, yum, yum. It's so thick. We have a muscle food delivery, which is going to get us back on track after a few days of Ibiza, a few days of flu. What do you reckon, girls? We need some help. So I'm just going to take you quickly through the important things in life. My muscle food groceries. So here we have a box full of snacks. So I've got my favourites, my grenade bars. Um, these are the white chocolate cookies, which are yum. And then I've got a few of these, the peanut chocolate flavour bar from Bro Pro To Go. Not Pro To Go, Pro To Go. And they are awesome. I've got some of these buffs, which um, I like the pickled onion flavour. I know it gives stinky breath, but tastes amazing. We also have... I uh, have more pickled onion. I have a few different flavours in here. Oh, I've got the cheesy flavours, which taste like cheesy puffs. So Lex really likes these uh, pretzel bites, the easy cheesy flavour. I got them for myself, but he actually prefers them. And I got him these, which are pork puffs. So they're pretty much like pork scratchings. Um, per bag, it's 5.6 grams of fat, no carbs, 17 grams of protein. That's actually amazing. That sounds really good. That's salt and vinegar flavour and a spicy barbecue flavour. I haven't tried these before, so they're a new one. I got sent these in one of the mystery boxes and Lex said it was amazing, so I got him some more. They're the Boost protein bars. And more of the Pro To Go. So I've got loads of them. Then I also got some vitamins. So I've gotten some Magnesium Plus tablets. I am lacking in magnesium and everyone keeps on recommending magnesium to me so I'm going to start taking these before I go to bed to help me with sleep because they are apparently great for people who have problems sleeping and things like that. I also got some of this which is nighttime 5-HTP. Now 5-HTP is like a serotonin booster which is like your happy hormone and again it helps with sleep, it helps relax you if you feel like you're quite stressed out, suffering from anxiety. My camera just does not want to focus on me today. Hello puppies and um, yeah. Oh, they're getting into their bed because they think it's time for bed. Good girls, this is how well behaved they are. I'll get you a biscuit, get you a treat if you go in your bed. So when, they, when we go out, they go in the dining room because it's the safest place for them and they get a little treat. Bailey goes in her cage, but we don't lock it so she, now because she's a bit better behaved. So she just stays in her bed and then we're just nice and safe in there. They can't get up to any damage. So continuing on, 5-HTP, um, really good for just if you're suffering with anxiety or stressed. So just take that, but just be careful because it is, helps with serotonin levels. So you will have to kind of reverse yourself off it because it will affect your serotonin base level. So I'm just gonna go into the next box, which has probably most of the meat. So all of the muscle food stuff comes packed with ice packs. So if it gets left on your doorstep, it will be fine until you get home and you can put it in the fridge or the freezer. So we have some of this streaky bacon, which Lex loves. So yum, 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 yum. I've got loads of that actually. And um, got these, oh, these, which are absolutely delicious. They're chicken stuffed chicken breasts, or pizza stuffed chicken breasts, and they just taste so amazing. They've got like a paste in the middle, and then you have this breadcrumb thing for on the outside, and it's really, really good. And there's offer that you get cheaper the more you buy. So if you buy like three plus, they actually reduce in price. Now I haven't tried... Ooh. Haven't tried this one yet, but on the basis of the pizza stuffed one being amazing, I think this is going to be amazing. It's super green stuffed chicken breasts. And yeah, again, it's like stuffed with super greens and then has this like coating of like Parmesan and stuff. But the outside, can't wait to try that. I also always get loads of my evening green cheese and it has quite a long shelf life on it, um, but you can just freeze it and defrost it, it's very handy. We've got some regular bacon medallions, we've got some regular chicken breasts, I've got some cartons of egg whites. Um, oh, these are really good, really handy. We've got the chicken breast skewers in Purry Purry, and they have like little sticks in them. You just stick them in the oven, perfect for if you have a group of friends over and you just want to have something quick and handy. 
bunging in the oven, all quick and ready, handy for dinners. And that is a very quick run through of what I get from Muscle Food. That's a month's supply for Lex and I. I have a link that down below. Unfortunately, Muscle Food is only available in the UK, which includes Northern Ireland. And I think it's also available in Holland right now. So unfortunately, if you're in the US or in Ireland, you're not gonna be able to get it. But if you're in the UK and you fancy buying something from Muscle Food, they always throw in vouchers and like discount things and like little gifts as well. So there's always an incentive to buy from them. They always have big bundles on offer. So go check them out, use the link below, help me out. And I'll see you in the gym. We're off. Coffee in hand, off to the gym I go. Where is Lex going to get? To get a man's fingers jabbed into my shoulder. <laughs> and I'm just realizing that my battery's running quite low. So this should be a time restrained workout. successful trip to Aldi, wasn't it, Lex? Went in for yogurts. Went in for yogurts and this is what we got. We did get yogurts at least, because sometimes I actually come out and I don't even have the yogurts. Our said yogurts, and these are my ones actually, these are amazing. So if, you, if you're in the UK, these are my current favorite yogurts. They're a Skyr vanilla, and they have 3.5 grams carbs per 100 and 9.7 grams protein. So really good macros, no fat. So we also picked up some fresh fruit. Lex already had some with his yogurts. And then some, as Lex likes to call it, fungus. But it's like my mushrooms, nothing for you. And then I picked up this, which is like an eyeshadow palette. This is really nice colors. Because it is close to PMSing, this is my drug of choice, aspirin, paracetamol, caffeine, that'll get me through that. We've got some, you know, everyone needs on their grocery shop, some mosquito and insect repellent bands. Got some shower gel for Lex, some car cleaner for your trim, some path and patio weed killer, some ibuprofen for Lex, cause he has a sore shoulder, hence why he was at the physio. So these little bargains for a fiver. Sweet, aren't they Lex? And they were the last ones in his size. Yeah, so very successful trip to Aldi. Nothing for these two. Now I'm gonna have my breakfast, which is some oats. I haven't had oats all week. I've been having bacon and eggs, so some yummy protein oats. I put 50 grams of the egg whites. Um, I'm gonna add in some of this chocolatey protein powder. Microwave it all up and consume 
I've had one coffee on the way to the gym, so I'll have a coffee now as well. Post-workout coffee. So we got some protein oats, chocolate protein powder, chocolate chips, and the end of this fiber syrup. Get you in my belly. So I've just gotten in from walking the dogs and uh, as you can see I'm a bit sweaty. Just as I was coming in the gate I just got really lightheaded. So as I said I have had kind of fluey symptoms the last few days so I'm just, I got a bit lightheaded. Luckily Lex was out the front so he came to my rescue and uh, he gave me a punnet of raspberries to eat and um, I've also had some strawberries as well and a nice big glass of water just to get some glucose in and Roxy is she looks like she's concerned about her mum but she really isn't she's just looking for the raspberries which are they're gone the raspberries are gone Rox yeah, you investigate. They are gone. Yeah, sorry. They're all gone. Bailey also very concerned about the raspberries and their current condition. Yeah. They're all gone. They're all gone. Yeah, just feeling not 100%, but I'm not feeling sick or anything. Just had a bit of a, a funny turn. I'm sure it's probably just PMT and the end of my flu so but we're going to go and see Godzilla tonight and I'm going to make some of the super greens stuffed chicken for dinner okay I'm gonna admit something I am addicted to Jane the Virgin it's just so good why is it only coming into my life now I'm only on season three and there's five seasons so um, I'm probably gonna watch my guilty pleasure of Jane the Virgin and then go up and change into non-sweaty clammy gym clothes and get dinner on, feed the dogs, walk the dogs again, go to cinema. And my teeth are looking extremely straight because they're done now. I'm gonna get a permanent brace put behind my teeth. So that's my next thing which is happening next week. So I'm on to another pre-dinner snack. We've got one of my Yummy, 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 yummy in my tummy Aldi Skyer vanilla yogurts. I've added some of this carb zone low carb muesli, so it's just pretty much a load of health. Yeah, what is in it? So, like sunflower seeds, soy flakes, coconut, pumpkin seeds, so all good stuff, and then some almond coconut butter that I got from Muscle Food. So, I'm gonna have this, hopefully, it'll pep me up a bit and then I'll get on with making dinner. So it is now 6 p.m. and it is time to get dinner on. So I've prepped some of the chicken that we saw earlier from the Muscle Food Hall. It was the green stuffed chicken. And I'll just show you what ready. You had like a little sachet of this, which I sprinkled on top. I put it on some of the tin foil and like this green stuff in the middle. And then I've done some nice roasted veggies. So we've got cherry tomatoes, mushrooms, some asparagus. I just had some balsamic vinegar we've got some parsnips and I've drizzled some honey on top of them so we've got some health 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 even though I am very good at cooking and I enjoy being in the kitchen I am crap at mashed potato and cooking potatoes I just hate peeling potatoes so today we are just having some of this microwaved mash from Asda as, as our starchy carb source for balancing out all this health so I'm just gonna bung this in the oven now feed the puppies because Bailey, it's time for dinner. Time for dinner, yeah. Um, we are going to eat dinner, obviously, because that's why I'm cooking it. And then we're gonna head to the cinema. I'm in from walking the dogs and dinner is served and it looks amazing.
even if I do say so myself. So we have the super green stuffed chicken and you can see it's got all yummy on the outside, some mashed potato, some roasted parsnips, some roasted tomatoes, mushrooms and some yummy asparagus. A lot of health. Yum. Dinner for Lex and I and then off to the cinema. When we go to the cinema we tend to bring our own little treats to number one, save on the money and number two, save on the macros. So it's time to hit the cinema. I am um, changed into regular clothes. This top is from Nasty Gal. I've got my mom jeans from Topshop, which are super comfy because cinema. Lex is going casual chic. And we've got our snacks. So I'm on the Peanut Pro to go. Thanks, Lex. Um, peanut Pro to go and Lex like, on the boost which tastes like moro. And then he's also having some of these pork puffs, which apparently are really good. And then I'm going to have one of these, because we don't want to pay cinema prices. So like, dogs just come to their bed. And Lex has requested one of these, which is lactose-free grenade, uh, strawberries and cream shake. So I haven't tasted it yet. I'm not really into strawberry flavored stuff. Well, he said it's really good, so if you like strawberry shakes, get off to Godzilla. We go Godzilla rating, Lex mm, five out of ten. Best, yeah. I could have got up and left and not been bothered, and I don't leave films, yeah. But I wasn't bothered that I stayed, but I could have easily left. So, yeah. five out of ten, yeah. I've never left a film, no, Ooh, I've left one film, not what? having. What did you leave? It was something in the woods. Ended up being some stupid bloke dressed as a giant pig running around the woods scaring people that were living in a town that was deliberately segregated from society, although they made out like it wasn't. It was shit. It was super shit. I don't you, think I've ever met Lex You'll know what film I'm talking about. It, Comment down below if it. you know what movie he's talking Something about. The it's basically a bloke running through the woods and there's like an Amish community and then it turns out the community is just in the middle of normal civilization. They just choose not to be part of it. And it's a bloke in a pig outfit and it looks like a bloke in a pig outfit with horns. Like a giant angry porcupine. We need recommendations though, don't we? So everyone just give us recommendations of what is good to see in the cinema right now that may not be your typical movie to go and see. You know, like not a blockbuster. Oh yeah, like an indie movie. No. Not in, Lex hates indie hey. movies. He likes a good storyline. Juno um, sucks. So we're home and as you can see, I'm enjoying a glass of rosé to compensate for Godzilla not being the best. So, it wasn't the worst, but yeah. Kind of wish I'd gone to see uh, Secret Life of Pets, but Lex wasn't keen. Oh well. But well, cheers to the weekend, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause bitch, they be hating on me.